Hello, I'm going to explain about chapter 5, state of matter. Question 9, for model pass year can be take. And the question is, a 3.0 liter flask at 298 Kelvin contains a mixture of 2.0 mol helium gas and 3.0 mol xenon gas. The when the walls constant of helium and xenon are given in table 3. There are 8 keywords that can be found in the question. The first one is the volume which is 3.0 liter and then the temperature which is 298 Kelvin the mole of helium 2.0 mole the mole of xenon 3.0 mole and then from the table there are A and B which is A the constant to correct intermolecular attractive forces and B which is the constant to correct volume occupied by gas particle. For helium, the A is 0 0.03421 liter square atm per mole square. And for xenon, 4.194 liter square atm per mole square. And for the B of helium, 0 0.0237 liter per mole and for xenon 0 0.5105 liter per mole and for question A state to postulate of kinetic molecular theory of an ideal gas in relationship to parameters A and B as in table 3 the answer for question A are the volume of the gas particles is negligible compared to the volume of its container. We choose this answer because it is related to B which is the correct for volume occupied by gas particles. And the next answer is the intermolecular forces between the gas molecules are negligible and we choose this answer because it is related to A which is the constant correct for intermolecular attractive forces. Since the question asks about the relationship to parameter A and B which is A related to the intermolecular attractive forces and B which is related to the volume occupied by gas particle so we need to choose two suitable kinetic molecular theory and for question B the question is which gas is expected to be have ideally and which gas is exhibits a marked deviation for ideal behavior which is related to question C the question C is Explain your answer in 3B by referring to the significance of A and B values in table 3. So, to answer this question, we should know that ideal gas, the gas molecule are able to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces between them and the volume occupied by the gas molecule is negligible since they occupy a small fraction as compared to the volume of the gas. So, in this question, we should go back to the table and look at the A and B. So, the answer for question B, one of the answer is just that expected to be have ideally is helium. And the answer for question C, which is the reason why we choose helium as the gas that expected to be have ideally in B is the vo value of A of helium is low so the intermolecular forces between the helium gas is weak 
and the next answer is the value of D of helium is low so the volume occupied by the helium gas particle is negligible compared to the volume of its canteen so both of the reason occupied the ideal behavior of gas condition and next for the answer of the gas that mark deviation from ideal behavior in B is Zener and the reason which is the answer for C is the value of Zener is high so the intermolecular forces between the Zener particles is significant so even though the volume is low but it is not expected to behave ideally because the intermolecular forces is high and we move on to the question D question D calculate total pressure of the gas in mixture using an ideal gas equation so to answer this question we need to use the ideal gas equation which is PV equal to NRT but since it's asking for the total pressure of the gas we should change the PV equal to NRT into P equal NRT over V to answer this question the first step we should calculate the total number of mole of the gas mixture so, to find the total number of mole of the gas mixture, we need to total the number of mole of helium and the number of mole of xenon, which is 2.0 plus 3.0 equal to 5.0 mole. Next, by using the equation P equal to nRT over V, which is from the ideal gas equation, PV equal to NRT we insert all the suitable keywords and the total number of mole so we should get P equal to 5.0 mole times 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin times 298 Kelvin over 3.0 liter and the answer we should get is P equal to 40.7565 ATM so for the last question for question 9 which is question E using the van der Waals equation the total pressure of the system is calculated to be 38.1 ATM explain the reasons behind the difference between this value and the pressure calculated in 3D the answer for question E is the pressure exerted by real gas is lower than ideal gas because the intermolecular forces between the gas particle is significant and also the next answer is it reduces the frequency of the collision between the gas particles and wall of the container. And that is all from me. Thank you. Hope you all learned something. Please do remember, subscribe, like and share this channel. Thank you.